I just made a, a, a smaller version of the whole dish. Why do I think I'm a genius? I just did exactly the same they did. <sighs> what up guys, it's Brian from Argentina coming at you from China. And today we're gonna be eating something that I don't even know how to describe. It's called Shito Baoyang, which translates to stone wrapped lamb. It's like a balloon made with lamb stomach, and then it has stones inside, and those stones kind of cook lamb mm -hmm. meat that is inside that. It, I don't want to say weird, it looks so unique. A lot of people wouldn't dare to eat it just from the looks of it. It's definitely a very special dish, and it's from Inner Mongolia. I didn't know they had it in Beijing, but I recently found out that there is one. It's just really, really far away from town. So you gotta make a reservation, you gotta book in advance at least one day, and they asked me to leave a very fat deposit. That's 300 RMB, which is kind of like $40. And that is just the deposit. Okay guys, if I want to make it to my reservation, I need to leave right now. But you can subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, leave a little comment, and keep watching. Let's go. No. So today, it's so cold. Like it, it went down eight degrees from last night. It's it's around minus 13, so it's it's really freaking cold. Um, and they say in China, when it gets cold, you should eat lamb because it heats you up from the inside. So that's what we're doing. We're eating lamb today. Another fun fact that I wanted to share with you guys is that today I'm wearing a, a green beanie. Um, and in China, when you wear a green hat, it means that you were, you know, my girlfriend put the green hat on me. You were cheated on. <laughs> I didn't realize when I bought it. I thought it was cool. I thought it was a good color. Uh, so that's funny. That's something that you should they should remember. 师傅,我问你一个问题,你吃过那个石头包养吗? I was asking the driver just now if he's if he's eaten this dish and he said no because he's from he's from a region called Sichuan. Um, and they they don't eat much lamb usually. He's never even heard of it, so that's that's cool. It's it's even rare for for locals. Huh? 但是我觉得去阿根廷开餐厅不赚钱阿根廷经济不好<笑> <干啥>? <笑> okay. Oh, I forgot how cold it was Minus what? 9 all right, let's find this place. I'm hungry. I, I know it's on the second floor. This is the place. I have arrived. It's so the smell of lamb is just so strong. It's awesome. See, that's the that's the hot pot. It's like in a copper pot like that. I just went to wash my hands and I was seeing the other people are eating the the Mongolian shrayan roll. Uh, it's a kind of hot pot and it's just delicious. If you guys get the chance, please go and check it. I, I haven't I can't believe I've never done a video about it. I got I have to do that. There's a thing in Chinese, in Chinese called shanghuo. It's kind of like inflammation within the body sort of thing and things like lamb, durian, uh, spicy things, ginger, they all kind of light the fire in you. And, and then things like um, some kinds of tea, watermelon, uh, vegetables like winter melon and things like that, they're all they're good to put out the fire in you. So they say lamb actually puts the, like lights the fire in you, but it's also good to light the fire when winter comes. Because you gotta, it's all about balance. If you don't have any fire, you also have disease and, and, and symptoms. But if you have too much fire, you have, you know, all those other symptoms. So you need to find balance. You need to be somewhere in the middle. And then you, you gotta balance all these aspects with your diet. Like two sauces, smells very pungent, very salty. 
fermented bean paste. I think it's that jam. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that is salty. And this is it's kind of like a little chive pesto. It's really good. Hello. Oh, Lalo. Uh, Yang Tu. Yang Tu. Hey, Pai Hong Wa. Xin Hong Wa. Look at that beauty. And then inside it has these hot stones and then this lamb meat inside too. Look at that. Ah, oh my god, and the juice is in there. Oh, there's more potato down there. Oh my god, this is awesome. It's not as big as I thought. I'm not gonna finish, obviously, but I think, you know, I think I'll be fine. I'll be eating this in like two or three days. I've seen videos online where it's, it's, you know, it's like a balloon, it's all inflated. And then they use this knife to like pierce it and all the steam starts coming out and it becomes like this. So I think that's a part of the process. It, it already happened while I was in here because they cook this for like five to six hours. The hot stones create a lot of steam inside. So this meat is actually it's grilled by the stones but it's also steamed. So it's this, it's supposed to be very tender. Oh, look at that char on that, oh, on that lamb skin. It kind of looks like a blobfish, like a fugu fish. It kind of reminds me when I went to Gansu, they were doing this call, this thing called Yampi Fazal. And it's a, it's a boat made out of inflated lambskin, like a lambskin balloon. It's like a 2000 year old the transportation method from China. It's, in, it's amazing. The smell is amazing. It's just the smell of lamb and just a little bit of a white pepper in there. I can't smell any cumin for now, so I'm assuming they are only using white pepper for this. Let's get in there. It's not as tender as I thought. I thought it was gonna be like a slow cooked stew. It's very mild on the spices, so I think that's why they put this the sauces here. Oh, this has a this is, has a crunch. Skin has a crunch. This, this is the best stomach I've ever had. It's not like tender, it's not like melting your mouth, but it's kind of like you chew it a couple of times and it's already ready to swallow. This is amazing. And it's not that strong in flavor. This lamb is not that shunt, like I was just saying. It's not very shunt. Look at this bit of fat. This is all fat. Oh. Oh my God, that's so good. The more fat a piece has, the better it gets. Can you see that beauty? Ah. Oh. It's a bit of organ. See, it has like a little nuts. I think it's a sausage they made. See? Mmm, yeah. Sausage, lamb sausage. Oh my God. One of the best things I've had in the, in the last few months. This is amazing. Mmm. It actually goes really well with the sauce. I was like having the sauce individually and I was like, oh, I don't think it's gonna go well together. But then I dipped it, oh, so good. I am so happy. This is the flavor. This is what happiness tastes like. Let's try the carrots. Big ass piece of carrot. <laughs> it's carrot that kind of tastes like lamb too. Mm, and they're kind of sweet. Oh. Can you see that? It's not sweet, but it's been it's been soaked in that juice for so long, for like six hours. Lamb flavored potato. Oh, we could do some lamb flavored potato chips. Lace, are you listening? I just gave you a multi million dollar idea. It's okay, you can just give me five percent of all the money you make with it. I want to try some of this pai huang guang. This is one of the most classic Chinese starters. Like anywhere in China, you can find the variations of this. It's just very good for a opening your stomach, no, to open the appetite. This stomach meat is so good. Bam. Ooh, I have a good, I have a I just had an amazing idea. I'm gonna stuff this little pocket with lamb, carrots, cucumber, coriander. This is Argentinian style, this is what we like doing. I hope I'm not disrespecting anyone's culture by doing this. I just made a, a, a smaller version of the whole dish. Uh, why do I think I'm a genius? I just did exactly the same they did. Anyways. Oh my god, so good. <sighs> it's delicious. Now I wanna go to Inner Mongolia so bad. 
and have the, the local one. This is what Inner Mongolian people make in Beijing, but I'm sure the local one is even better. I'm just a little bit disappointed on the meat. I thought it was gonna be, it's really good. It, it, don't get me wrong, it's like, it's amazing. But I thought it was gonna be more tender. So on the, on the texture of the meat, the meat tastes delicious and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not as tender as I thought. It's not that tender. Trust me. If you see that like, when it has air inside, and you think, oh, that looks disgusting, blah, blah. Don't be fooled by the appearance. Just come and try it, because this is amazing. Like, if you don't come because of how it looks, you're missing out, bro. I'm gonna get a, a takeaway box and get it to go. Look, there's so much left. Oh. That was a little bit expensive, that was that. more than I was expecting because um, they charge per 500 grams and I think there's supposed to be 4 kilos in there of meat. This is at least 2 kilos, including potatoes, so I don't know what they're waiting. I don't know if it's only meat or, or what that is 4 kilos, but yeah, it's probably including the potatoes and maybe the stones and the fat. That's almost a hundred US dollars for this meal. Uh, but then but then again, four to six people can eat out of this. Just just because it's me, one person coming and eating, it feels expensive, but it's not. It's really not, it's lamb, and it's their own their own lamb, so it's actually not bad, it's actually really good. And it's a, it's a very special dish. It's like one of those things that you, you have to do once in, a, once in a lifetime. So yeah, I hope you like this video, and I hope that my videos encourage you to try new things to get out of your comfort zone and, and try things that might look disgusting or weird to you, but you know, know that you're missing out by not trying them. And yeah, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you will share it to your friends and family. Comment, like it, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these videos. Uh, and yeah, this is, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.